Uh, let me show you now how these uh, tools can be used on a real world example. So this is Multigo. Multigo is cool. It lets you build different type of graphs about uh, what the infrastructure looks like uh, and what uh, the client's assets are. So let's use uh, uh, yahoo.com example uh, just because it has a very cool bug bounty program published on hacker one so uh, basically wildcard.yahoo.com uh, I'm not saying it's your playground but uh, it's legal to try find vulnerabilities in that domain okay and every subdomain of it so here we have the graph normally it looks like this yeah so we have entity palette here overview window here I'll show you how it all works out so let's start from just uh, having a website okay so everyone knows that Yahoo at least has a website so from this almost zero knowledge we can start transforming things yeah so let's let's do transformation to domain yeah now we have this domain name and for uh, every domain on the internet to be useful it has at least to have uh, mail servers assigned to it and name servers to resolve the subdomains right so let's start from here as you see there is quite a few and uh, where all the mail is sent it is sent here so this is already quite something but uh, let's proceed further and uh, find some common DNS names okay there are some and let's also use this one it will give us something or not it will okay so yeah you see the things get a little bit messy here so we can either zoom to fit or make it look like this remove all the paints when, when it begins to not fit into one window you will have to use this overview pane right so there is a lens you can just browse all the graph like this but for now let's make it simple and uh, yeah so there are different things we can do from here but let's uh, change the type yeah so let's just reformat everything to DNS names because that's what they are we see this nice grouping here that's been added in the latest version so let's just resolve everything to IP addresses So Multigo is now already doing some work. And one not very pleasant thing about it is that it's it's in Java, okay? So you probably already hear my fans trying to manage all that additional work they have. Okay, so we have a bunch of IP addresses. Let's select all of them. okay here we are and uh, let's figure out what net blocks they belong to okay so just based on the routing info we can generalize over what net blocks what IP ranges are there take some time for it to figure out but in the end we will have a bunch of net ranges yeah apparently we can start scanning ping scanning uh, and enumerating the additional hosts that belong to these IP ranges but let's let's not do that for now let's first validate the scope right so let's select a bunch of net blocks and transform them to autonomous system numbers in order to see 
some legal information. Okay, so AS numbers can be queried for registration information, right? And from here we can validate that uh, everything except for this address, yeah, it uh, belongs to Yahoo or different branches in different locations, but this is basically a rec space area somewhere in Dallas. So maybe we want uh, want to touch that to stay within legal boundaries. This is oh, this is Yahoo. This is some null address, but yeah, this is the zero autonomous number. It's uh, very virtual. We will not have to use it. Uh, everything else is pretty much belonging to Yahoo, so we can go further. and continue our bug bounty endeavors. Let's deal with the rest of them. Yeah, Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Taiwan. Yeah, cool. So, we'll just remove uh, the things we don't need and one touch and proceed with everything else which is kind of cool so in few minutes we have done a complete investigation of uh, everything available on a smaller scale but uh, still we have an idea of what the net blocks are and we have verified that all of them belong to Yahoo so yeah I think uh, I hope I've impressed you with Multigo and you will be interested enough to go download it and play with it around okay